Hi guys, I am continuing with the Cambridge IGCSE ICT 2017 February March paper uh, 2 document production part which is our task 3. So as they have mentioned we are going to edit a newsletter about the, wor the wood store company project. You need to open the file m2017woodstore.rtf in a suitable software package. So suitable software package we are going to use in this case Microsoft Word and the file name was 2017 Wood Store. Yeah, this is the one. Now next step is you need to change the page size to A4 orientation to landscape. Orientation landscape to portrait and then we need page size A4 sorry I clicked on A3 that is A4 and the orientation for orientation to portrait we are done then uh, set the top margin 3.5 cm and all other 2 cm so what we need to do is we just need to click here so we need only top 3.5 and the rest they have mentioned here all 2 cm so 2 2 and then 2 click on ok that is done next step is place in your evidence document the page size orientation and page margins so I'm just going to click here to print screen this one click on ok and then place it into your evidence document number 1 yeah, crop it because we don't need this whole screenshot we just need to crop the specific data only yes and if you want to still reduce it you can do that till this point yeah this is how it will look like and then I'm going to uh, get the screenshot of uh, our page size so print screen again just click on ok evidence in front of the same evidence here and then we just need to form it to crop it because we don't need the extra part of the screenshot here we just need to crop this one that's it and then you just need to increase the size you just, if you just click here yeah that's it now next step is save the newsletter with a new file name make sure it is saved in the same format of the software so you need to save the newsletter with a new name so I'm going to uh, click here file save as and then I'm going to call it newsletter and then we'll click as word document and I have created my folder at desktop where my folder is P2 2017 so I'm just going to paste the newsletter over there moving forward place in the header of your newsletter your name center number candidate number left a line so I'm just going to insert a header and your name then center number then candidate number left line and next part is the image M2070 image on the right so we are going to insert here an image yes 2017 image at the right side and then we need this one to be 3 cm high only so the height need to be reduced to 3 cm that is done next uh, maintain the spectra ratio we are done with it place in the footer automated file name file path align this to the right so now we don't need this one just going to remove this one and then going to click on inserting a footer we need our name center num sorry 
uh, our file name with the path write a line so file name with the file path write a line and we don't need the other information here just click on close and next step is that uh, make sure that add and footer is there on every page that's all now create the following paragraph styles so first is ws title so i'm just going to click here to the end of the document here i'm going to click then i'm going to create a style with this name the title it must be sans serif 36 point so i always choose sans serif arial then it is 36 point high and then after we need this one to be right align and single line spacing so paragraph line spacing single and then before and after zero point okay done title is created next ws subtitle one more style with ws subtitle subtitle modify this one we need sans serif means arial but 18 point this time and then after uh, center align and underline center align underline and then we need before and after line spacing zero and single line spacing done now one more style this time we are going to call it subheading so subheading just click on modify this one we need serif font with 16 point serif i always choose times new roman then this one left align bold italic bold italic nothing to do with underline single line spacing and after z12 then just click on ok ok then next is ws body so we are just going to uh, ws body just click on modify and then we need this one serif with 12 point uh, no enhancement fully justified and then after spacing 12 and the other is next is ok this one is correct ok and done and the last one is ws table so ws table just click on modify table we want serif 12 left align and then single and zero after and before zero single line spacing then click on ok no enhancement ok that is done now place in your evidence document to show all the setting for the ws body right click modify print screen click on ok and then just go to your evidence document and your evidence number 2 sorry evidence number 3 yeah because uh, I have missed one evidence here which was evidence 2 and evidence 2 was to check that you have saved your file and it is there into your folder yeah this and the dead the type is clearly seen print screen let's click on close evidence document that is your evidence number two that was evidence two and the other one was evidence three so just crop it make sure the folder name is not cropped and the file name and type of file is clearly seen and modify this screenshot as well that is your evidence number 3 yeah 
next step is yeah enter the title the word store at the start of the document so here we need to go now start of the document the word store the word store and then we need to apply ws title to it this one then after uh, below the title add the subtitle so subtitle and before this you need to type reported by then your name done and then you need to apply to it ws subtitle style select this one subtitle next step is that after the subtitle text from the format the rest of the document to two columns with equal width and one centimeter gap between them so from this point till the end page layout columns more columns two columns and spacing between them one centimeter done and then they said apply the ws body style to the document so home ws body style i have applied and next step is identify all nine subheading in the document and apply ws subheading style to it so here that is number one number two three four five six seven eight and nine and apply the subheading style to it next step is place the content of the file m2017 exhibition dot rtf as a table immediately after the paragraph which ends with some currently planned exhibition so some currently planned exhibitions we just need to look for that paragraph mm, current exhibitions yes here and just click here we need to place the formation from the file as they have mentioned exhibition the data as a table so just click here copy this one and paste it into your document now next step is apply the ws table style to the text in the table so apply this one and table apply it then uh, make the first row that only center and bold the first row only uh, center and bold yeah so first of all you need to center so in this case you need to merge the cells as well like that and then they have mentioned make sure that words are not split where text is wrapped and make sure that the grid line and the display when the document is printed so in this case select your table and choose from here all the borders like that and then format the wood store catalog table so that it match the formatting of exhibition table so here we have click this one and then apply style to it and then after we need to select this one merge the cells and we need to make it bold and center align just like that 
and then you need to spell check and prove your document make sure that spacing is consistent all items placed at the page or within the page margin the document and paragraph are complete no blank pages and widows and orphans are unchecked so here is our exhibition table uh, just need to press enter button here yeah so our table is here what I need to do is I just need to fix this one to the width of the column so if we just make this one like this and then make the cells smaller just like that so it will fit to the width of the column we just click here if you want to fit to the width of the column and uh, still if like for example you need to make some changes here like you are going to have some extra space for this column yes so it the data is fit here to extend it a bit Mm, yes so you can see now your table is here you just need to print the table and uh, the whole document now as they have mentioned so that's all from this part of the document and then they have mentioned here save and print there is no blank page make sure there is no blank page so we don't have any blank page and that's all yes so that's all from the document production part of this question paper hope you have learned uh, something from this video and uh, we'll see you in next video thank you for watching and subscribe the channel for further updated videos